Hello, this is an introduction to the Pair Pro to Teacher program at Gordon State College. Gordon State College is a state college within the University System of Georgia, which is part of the public colleges in Georgia. There are three different types um, of colleges in Georgia. There are the public colleges, which Gordon is a part of, there are private colleges, and then there are technical colleges. We were founded in 1852. We're located in Barnesville, Georgia, which is about 60 miles south of Atlanta. We're about between Atlanta and Macon. We are an accredited college. We're accredited by the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, also known as SACS. Very important, it, whether or not you choose to go to Gordon or another college, you want to make sure that that college is accredited um, so that your degree will mean something and so that if you do transfer your credits to another college, those credits will be accepted. Our traditional elementary education program is in its 14th year at the moment. Um, our Pair Pro to Teacher program, which is also in elementary education, is starting its second year in 2021. Here is a map of Georgia and the other uh, colleges that are within the University System of Georgia, which again are the public colleges in Georgia. So you can see we're located just about in the middle of the state. Um, some of our sister institutions include UGA, um, Middle Georgia State, Savannah State, um, Coastal Georgia, Valdosta, Kennesaw, West Georgia, North Georgia. All of those are part of our, um, sis our University System of Georgia. So now, now let's talk a little bit more about the Pair Pro to Teacher program itself. Um, the Pair Pro to Teacher program is designed for individuals who are currently working in K-12 environments as pair professionals. It is preferred if they are working in a K-5 setting, in an elementary uh, setting, because the degree itself will be in elementary education. Um, but it is not impossible if you work in middle school or high school to be able to complete this program. But again, keep in mind, your degree will be in elementary education. Um, this program is uh, for those who currently have an associate degree or credits equivalent. Um, again, you might already have an associate degree in another field or you might have some college credits um, and we will evaluate those to see if they'll come over into our program. You can also start this program if you have no college credits at all. It might be that you've never been to college um, and you want to get started with us and then complete the program and that's fine as well because we offer all of our pre-courses which are our associate degree level courses online as well. Um, the goal here is for uh, you to complete the requirements to become a Georgia certified teacher um, and you must continue to work as a pair pro as you complete these requirements because the courses will be in an online format. However, you will be using your position as a pair pro to complete your field experience um, activity. So you will need to be a pair pro, um, preferably in a public school setting, preferably in a K-5 environment um, in order to complete the program. So when you complete this program, you will have a Bachelor's of Science in Elementary Education. You will also uh, be eligible to apply to have your Georgia Teacher Certification in the area of Elementary Education and Special Education General Curriculum. With these two things, you'll be employable as a teacher in a K-5 public school setting. Um, now some of you may choose to work in private schools um, or other educational related institutions. The majority of our graduates do end up working in a uh, public K-5 um, school them. Also, if you do plan to teach in another state um, or if you are currently in another state planning to do our program, you do want to consult that state's process for certificate conversion um, of where they would take your Georgia teacher certification and convert it to Florida, Texas, my, um, um, Alabama, North Carolina, whatever, whatever, wherever you're going to be living. Um, but keep in mind that this program is aligned specifically to the Georgia teacher certification program. So let's look at the big picture process for this program first, and then we'll look at the individuals a little bit more specifically. So your first step after reviewing this video and deciding to complete this program is to apply and get admitted to Gordon State College. So you'll do that on our website at www.gordonstate.edu. There's a little apply here button at the top right. So after you apply um, and get accepted, you want to complete your associate degree work. And those are going to be the pre-courses. Now, some of you may have pre-courses that are going to come in because you've been to another college, you already have a degree of some kind, that will transfer in. We'll look at those and some of those may count. It depends on where, what college you came from, um, when the courses were taken. There's a lot of different factors, so we do have to look at it individually. 
will know that information because when you apply to Gordon State, you have to send in official transcripts from the schools that you have taken um, where you've earned college credit before. To send in those official transcripts, you would go to that college's website, go to their registrar's page, and there should be an area there where you can request official transcripts. You can get those sent directly to the school in paper format. It's also a little bit easier if you have them sent via uh, an electronic um, an electronic transcript, and they'll basically send it through email, and they would need to send it to admissions at gordonstate.edu. And so that is how we would get your official transcripts. That is how we would be able to evaluate them and see what courses would count or what pre-courses you would still need. So once we have that information, we will communicate with you um, and explain what pre-courses that you have left to take, and you would need to complete those if you have any left to take. Um, right around the time that you are finishing that up and finishing up your pre-courses, you would want to apply specifically to the education program. That involves an application, dispositions, and recommendation forms getting completed. Um, and then you would want to complete the GACE Ethics and Program Entry um, exam. So that is for this state. That's not specifically for Gordon. That's for any college offering a, a teacher prep program. So you want to complete those, um, the GACE Ethics and Program Entry exams. Once all of that is complete, you can be accepted into the program and that is when you can begin the education program itself. At that point, you're going to assign the MOU with your principal. That's a contract, basically um, your principal allowing you to do the field experiences in the school where you work or in the school system in which you work. And then you would actually start the education program. The education program itself without the pre-courses takes two years to complete. We start in a fall, then we go to spring, summer, fall, and spring. That last spring you're doing your student teaching. So you do have to take summer classes while you're in the program and we start in the fall. After you complete the program or right around the time you're completing the program, you'll take the GACE for your subject area, which will be an elementary education, special education general curriculum. That is what's going to give you the license to be a Georgia teacher. After you complete that, you are now a certified teacher and you're able to get a job and be paid as a Georgia certified teacher. So let's talk a little bit more about those pre-courses that um, I mentioned earlier. So the pre-courses are the associate level courses that you would need to take. So um, this is just kind of a general um, overview of what they are. Keep in mind that when we get your official transcripts, we look at them specifically and say this counts, this doesn't, and we work through it individually. But this is just generally speaking what courses you would have to take for your pre-courses. You would have to take um, two English, an English one and English two, a basic math. Most people take something like quantitative skills or college algebra. Um, you would need to take a freshman introduction course. Sometimes you can exempt that course depending on how many credits you're transferring in. You would have a colloquium requirement a lot of uh, the majority of schools don't have that course unless you're coming from another university system of Georgia school you would have a humanities elective of some kind maybe music appreciation art appreciation public speaking that kind of thing then you would need a upper level literature so British world American literature or maybe philosophy or ethics then you would need two lab sciences. The majority of our students take biology one and biology two, but you could take biology and geology. You could take physics, chemistry, um, as long as it's a science that has two, um, that has labs with it, and you would need two of those. Then you would need an extra math or science. That can be three or four credit hours, so it may have a lab, it may not. Some people take statistics here. Some people take computer science here. Some people just take another math or science that they're interested in here. Then you would need two social sciences. The majority of our students end up taking intro, intro to psychology, intro to sociology, or American government here. Then you would need a world history and or a Western Civ. Those are, names are kind of used interchangeably. Um, an American history course. And then you would need our Area F requirements. So as of right now, we have three um, Education Foundation courses, Math 2008, which is designed to teach um, you how to teach math to students, and then the ISCI 2001 and 2002. Each of those are science courses for elementary majors. One focuses on life science, the other one focuses more on physical science. 
And then you have your Area G requirement, which is a one-hour physical PE credit, as well as a health uh, course, which is three credit hours. So it may be that you transfer in a lot of these courses if you have another degree program or you've been another major at another college. The majority of the time, if you already have an associate degree but it's not in education, you're still going to need to complete the Area F courses, which are all specifically for um, education majors. But again, we will know this information when you apply to Gordon. You'll send official transcripts for every college that you have attended and it will have this information on it so we can look at. Um, and also make sure that when you do get fully accepted, once uh, Gordon State College fully accepts you, you'll get a email saying that you've been accepted. Please uh, contact us so that will trigger us to go in there and look at your credits and make a plan for you to see if you have any pre-courses left to take. Now these courses, these pre-courses can be taken on campus or online. You can come to the Barnesville campus. We have a site in McDonough or again you can take it um, fully online. You can take these courses in the fall, spring, or summer semesters. Um, you can take as many as you want in that particular semester. These are not like a cohort, these are not in a cohort format like the junior senior education program. So you're free to take these however and how many um, you want at a time. What are the requirements for getting accepted into the education program, specifically the pair part of teacher track? So you will have to have a 2.75 total GPA in all of your pre-courses. Um, you would need to complete the program admission gaze ethics test. And this is sort of like an online program that you pay to get access to. It's a $30 fee and you complete it completely independent from Gordon State College because again, this is a requirement for any teacher prep program. So regardless of what school you're enrolled in, you have to complete this to get um, to be a Georgia certified teacher um, and so this is something that takes a couple of days it's sort of like an online program that you would complete in addition you would need to complete the GACE program admissions exam again completely independent from Gordon it is just a requirement for any teacher prep program um, this program admissions exam is has three individual tests in it. There's a reading, writing, and math portion. Um, they do have separate fees for each of them. You can choose to take them all at one time or break them up over several days. It's up to you. Um, you would go to a testing center to complete these. Um, now, you can actually exempt these, the program admissions um, exams, if you have a certain GPA, or I'm sorry, a certain SAT or a certain ACT score. The most common is the SAT score, so I have those listed here here. Um, if you do uh, exempt the GACE when you apply to Gordon State College when you complete the um, the education application, you would just need to submit proof of those SAT scores to show that you can exempt it. So you can exempt the program admission, but you cannot exempt the GACE ethics. Everyone does have to complete that. Um, and I'll show you in a second how you can find a handout on how to um, register and complete um, each of these GACE requirements um, so that you can when, and you would need to do that when you um, apply to the program. And then again, the last requirement uh, for the Pair Pro to Teacher Track is that you do have to be a Pair Pro in a public school setting, preferably K-5. So what should you expect once you start the education program? So you've completed your pre-courses, you've applied and been accepted into um, Gordon into the education program at Gordon State. What should you expect when you um, are completing the program? So first of all, the program is full-time. So you will be taking five or more classes a semester. Usually it's five. There's one semester where there's six. Um, but the majority of the time you're taking five classes a semester while you're in the program itself. Um, the coursework is completely online, so you will not have to travel to campus at any point. Um, the program is in a cohort format, which means you start as a group. You would start in a fall semester, and you would go fall, spring, summer, fall, spring. With this, you cannot skip semesters or pick and choose what classes to take um, during each semester. Now, you can do that with the pre-courses, but once you start the education program, it's in a very structured format, and you are required to take summer classes between your junior and senior year. Also, in addition to your online coursework, there are field experiences required every semester. Um, this is where that uh, contract or MOU with your principal is going to come into place. This contract uh, is your principal allowing you to complete your field experiences in the school system or in a partner school in your county. So this is the breakdown of the grade bands, and this is why um, we generally say that it's easier if you are a pair pro in a K-5 setting for you to do your field experiences because if you're in a middle or second grade, or I'm sorry, a secondary, it would be harder for you to do these field experiences. 
So your first fall, which is going to be your junior year in the program, um, you will do your field experience in either a kindergarten or a first grade classroom, and that will be 100 hours. Now, you may think 100 hours is a lot, but remember that our semesters run for about 15 weeks. So really, that's just a couple of hours a week, usually maybe two or three days um, a week. Um, our fall semester runs from August to the, the, the beginning of August to the beginning of December. Our spring semester runs from the beginning of January to the beginning of May. And our summer, summer semester runs from the end of May to the end of July. So your first fall, you're going to be doing a, uh, going to be with a kindergarten or first grade uh, classroom. It is up to you and your principal to decide what partner teacher you're going to be partnered with to do those field experiences. Um, they do just they do have to be a certified teacher. Then that next, uh, your first spring, that next semester, you will be doing a second or third grade practicum. Again, 100 hours. Um, it can be in the same school where you were employed. Um, the teacher does have to be a certified teacher. Then over the summer, you will have online courses to take, but of course you wouldn't have field experiences because school is not in session. Then you come back that next fall to complete your senior year. You'll be in a fourth or fifth grade classroom at that point. It will be 100 hours, um, and again, needs to be a certified teacher. And then that last semester, you have your uh, student teaching, which is 600 hours, so pretty much all day, every day, and you're able to choose what grade level you would like to do it in. So let's, let me just give you an example. Let's say that I am a pair pro in a kindergarten classroom. So for my first semester, I would need to do a practicum in kindergarten or first grade, so I would just stay in the classroom that I am currently a pair pro in and do my 100 hours there. That next semester, my principal is going to have to agree to let me leave the classroom for 100 hours during that 15 weeks at some point to do my practicum in either a second or third grade classroom. Then come that next fall, he's going to ha he or she's going to have to agree to let me go to a fourth or fifth grade classroom to complete my 100 hours there. Now when it comes back to student teaching, when I'm doing my 600 hours, I would probably just go back to my kindergarten classroom where I'm currently employed, where I'm, where I'm currently stationed, that I completed with my first fall. I'd probably go back to it and complete my student teaching there. So from that example, you can kind of see where it's a little bit easier for you to do your field experiences if you are in a K-5 um, setting rather than in a middle or high school. It's not impossible. If, it, if you're in a middle school or high school, your teachers or your principal is just going to have to be agreed to a lot of field work. So remember that MOU is something that will be signed once you're accepted into the program. It will need to be assigned by you and the principal um, of the school in which you are employed. And it is a contract uh, basically saying that the principal is going to let you complete your field hours in the specific grade bands. Um, and then if they if those grade bands are not within the school level, they're going to allow you to leave your school and go to a partner school in the district. Say in the case of I work in, kin I'm a pair pro in kindergarten, but my school is a pre-K through second grade. For that fourth and fifth grade practicum, I would have to leave my, my school building and go to a partnership school. So um, again, you are allowed to work out the, the ins and outs of that with your principal, but that MOU is the contract for that. So what sort of classes will I take in the um, education program once I am accepted? So here's a listing of the courses that you'll take. Again, these are not the pre-courses. This is once you actually get into the education program. So uh, you have your fall, your spring, your summer, your second fall, and then your spring. So the first fall, uh, notice that every semester you're going to be taking a math course, a literacy course, and a special education course. And then you'll have things like classroom management, technology, um, an extra law, uh, literature course filled in as well. Notice in the summer that you'll have an arts, an assessment, a social studies, and a science course. The the um, texts highlighted in green are your professionalism courses. Those are your field experience courses. So you are getting college credit for those field experience courses, and you do have to earn a satisfactory in those field experience um, assignments. So every semester you'll have one of those, of course, um, except during summer. Now your spring semester, notice that the majority of your coursework is in those field experiences. You only have one course online with Gordon and that is more or less a check-in course to make sure that you're able to complete your field work and you're getting all the information you need for that. 
So now um, that you know about the program and if you're interested in completing the program, these are your next steps. First of all, you want to apply to Gordon the college itself. And you'll do that on our website if you just uh, go to www.gordonstate.edu. In the top right, you'll see Apply Now. You'll make your account and then you'll actually apply to Gordon State. Um, when you are applying, make sure that you pick your major to be elementary education peer pro to teacher. There should be one that says peer pro to teacher and there should be one that says traditional or it might not say anything at all. Make sure you choose the one that says Pear Pro. Also make sure that when you um, are applying that you pick this, the next semester that you're wanting to start. So you know spring, summer, fall, etc. So if you're wanting to start next semester you want to pick spring. If you're wanting to start in the fall, pick fall. Make sure that you pick that correct semester. And then also once you apply, you want to go ahead and work on sending in those official transcripts. And again, you go to the colleges in which you uh, have credit. You would go to their website, go to their registrar's page, and then apply to have official transcripts sent to the college. And again, you can get those sent to admissions at gordonstate.edu. If you do have unofficial transcripts, so ones that you can just print off yourself, you can email those to Dr. Jones to review um, unofficially so you can kind of see what classes you would need to take. But again, you do have to send in official transcripts to um, our admissions department to actually be accepted into Gordon. Once you are accepted, you'll get an acceptance letter in the uh, via email, the email that you apply with, so make sure you check it readily. Um, and then you will need to reach out to Dr. Jones or myself so that we can get you registered for the upcoming semester if you ha have any pre-courses left to take. If you don't have any pre-courses left to take, we'll send you more information about applying to the education program and getting that underway. So our next uh, cohort will start this coming August. So you do want to go ahead and apply now because if you have pre-courses still left to take, you can do those in the spring or summer uh, before you actually start the program in August. Here is our contact information, Dr. Jones, who is the Dean of the School of Education, Mathematics, and Applied Sciences, as well as myself, Autumn Schaefer. I'm the instructional designer and part-time instructor here in the School of Education. So you can email either one of us or both of us um, regarding any questions you have about the program. Now I'd like to take a moment to navigate you through our website to help you find essential information. So you would go to our website at www.gordonstate.edu. Then uh, to apply to the college at large, to apply to Gordon State, you would choose apply now here at the top. Then it's going to ask you to create an account. So you would just create your account and then log in from here. And that is where you apply to Gordon State. Remember, please make sure to choose the Pair Pro to Teacher program and please make sure to include or choose the next semester if you're planning to start as early as possible. If you're wanting to learn more about the Pair Pro program, if you choose this search button and you type in Pair Pro to Teacher, it will pull a web page specifically for our program, Elementary Education Pair Pro to Teacher Track. And this will give you a lot of essential information. So here, uh, this explains that we are a certified program. You can check our certification here on the Professional Standards Commission website. This explains who the program is designed for, which I talked about earlier. And then here is the diff this will give you um, a listing of the differences between our Pair Pro or our traditional track. It's the same program, it's the same courses, it's the same degree. Just one is for peer pros, one is for traditional students. One is online, the peer pro program is online, the, tradi the traditional program is on campus. The peer pro program um, requires you to be a peer pro so that you can do your field experiences in your schools via the MOU. The tr traditional track, um, you work with our field experience coordinator to um, be placed into a school. This will give you a listing of all those pre-courses that we were talking about. So if you want to look at those yourself, you can uh, compare these with your transcripts. But keep in mind that we do this for you, so uh, you don't have to be overwhelmed with that. We'll do this once, you, uh, once we have your transcripts on file. And then here is a link of the course rotation once you actually get into the program. Here's a link of the courses that you'll take each semester, as well as the field experience requirements for each semester. And again, here's the breakdown of the grade bands that is required. And then here's a copy of the MOU that uh, you and your principal will sign. 
And again, you wouldn't need to have this MOU signed until you're accepted into the education program. So this is not something you need to do initially. And then once you are finishing up your pre-courses, this is all the information that you'll need to be accepted into the program. So you'll have already applied to Gordon State itself and been accepted as a student. But then here, um, this is where you apply to the education program itself. So this is what you want to do when you're wrapping up your pre-courses. So this is just a PDF file that you'll fill out for us. Um, it will include just some general information about you. Make sure to choose the pair per to teacher pathway. Include um, your, your any employers. You'll have to write an, a little essay about why you want to be a teacher, that kind of thing. In addition, you will need three recommendation forms completed. One of these recommendation forms needs to come from your principal, but the others can come from other people um, that work at the school, maybe an associate principal, um, a counselor, um, the, the teacher that you're partnered with, other teachers that you work with, that kind of thing. So you would need three of these filled out. And then you would need two disposition forms filled out. And so we'd like for these to come from um, professors within the School of Education here at Gordon. So if you have taken classes here at Gordon, um, they could come from those. Or they might come from other people that you've worked with that know um, your work ethic. And then you want to complete the GAYS Ethics Exam and the GAYS Program Admission Exam. And here's a document that will explain to you how to go about doing that. And so this would involve you making your PSC account, going in and registering yourself for the GAYS and then um, the GAYS Ethics, and then going in and registering yourself for the Program Admission and picking the day and time in which you would like to take it. So that handout should be helpful for you when you get to that point to do so. And then all of that information can be mailed to us. Um, you can either physically mail it off or drop it off here at Gordon, or better yet, you can email it to us, scan all that information, and email it to us. And then again, here's some, if you have general questions, you can email us here, and um, we can get those cleared up for you. So this, uh, what, this website should be super helpful for, to you or other uh, students interested in the program.